Hi, thanks for joining me. You know, I've been getting so many questions about using vintage frames that are composited PNGs and how do you get your photos into all these little spaces. So using Photoshop, I'm going to show you how. First, I'm going to start with creating a 3600 by 3600, which is 12 by 12 scrapbook page. And we'll start with a blank page here. I'm going to fill it with white. I did that by hitting Command Delete, and that filled it with my background color. OK, so I've got my layer one that you can see here. And I've got my stuffed edge photo frames number three, which is a composite for six photos to go into these stuffed edges. And the way you would use these is by, let's say, putting a paper over it or another shape. I'll just put like a photo box holder. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so I've got these frames here. And I'm going to go to my magic wand tool and I'm going to click. I'm on the layer with the frames. I'm going to click in the first opening. Now you can see it didn't select everything because there's a shadow there. So hold down your shift key and click again. And look, it got it all. Okay, but we want to make sure that we don't see a line in between our photo and our frame. So we're going to go up to select modify, expand. I'm just going to expand by three pixels. That'll give me more than enough of a bleed. Okay, barely even notice that. Now I'm going to make a new layer right below the frame layer and I'm going to open a photo. Now I'm not compositing or designing anything great here. I'm just showing you how to use the photos. So I'm going to do <clears throat> show you a couple different ways to do this. First, I can select all of the photo, which is up here. Select all, wait, it's Command A. Sometimes I get caught up with all of the commands and I don't remember where everything is. But anyway, okay, Command A, copy, and then edit. And I'm gonna go paste special. And I'm gonna say paste into. That's gonna put it right in my shape. It's going to give me a mask. You notice there is no link here. So this image can be freely moved and scaled without my mask moving. And there, my photo is in the frame. Okay, so that is one way to do it. Now in this next frame, I'm going to show you a different way to do it. So let's open up a different photo. And yes, my daughter was very into field hockey when she was growing up. Lots of photos I never scrapped. Okay, so I'm grabbing this photo, and again, I'm bringing it under the stuffed edge clusters. I'm going to scale it a little bit to kind of get it ready, have the photo in the frame where I want it. Go back to the frame layer. Take the magic wand tool. And select, again, you can see it didn't go all the way to the edge, so I'm going to hold down shift. You see the little plus sign. Click again and it grabbed more of it. Select, modify, expand. Now, I can do a few things. I can do a Command J, which takes that part of the photo and just puts it on a new layer right above it and it's all cropped and ready to go. Pretty easy, right? That's one way you can do it. Another way you can do it is, did that, yeah, that undid. So let's go back and I'm gonna repeat. Hold down the shift key, get it all, select, modify, expand. And I could have done like undo tools and stuff, but I'm not gonna go there. Okay, back to this photo. You could go layer, layer mask, reveal selection. And that works just as well too. And it creates a mask where you can unlink it over here, unlink it, click on that link, and then you click back on your photo layer and you can move your photo around and you can scale it as needed. And link it back up again in case you move anything. Okay, so those were two really easy ways to add photos into the stuffed edge photo frames. And you just repeat this process until all of the frames are full. 
So let's go there. Select, modify, expand. It's like the more you do it, the more you remember. Okay, so we've got it. We're ready to go. We're going to open another photo. I'm going to do an all copy. So that's Command A, Command C, Edit, Paste Special, Paste Into. And there we go. We can move our photo as needed. Obviously, it's way big. Scale it down. Get it into position. And we're all good. Go to the next photo. And you just keep, hold down the shift key, keep repeating this process. Super, super easy. All right. You know what? I'm just going to grab the same photo. And I'm going to go edit, paste special, paste into. And I can just focus on their feet, right? Presto, don't need that many photos. You can just crop different parts of it and you're all good. Okay, while we're going, let's just fill it up. Here we go again. We've got extra, hold down the shift key. This one we need to hold down the shift key again because you can see some more over here. So let's grab that. Select, modify, expand, just by three pixels. Open another photo here. Select all, Command A, Command C to copy it, and edit, paste, special, paste into. Boom, simple as that. I'm kind of liking the feet. <laughs> all right, we got one photo to go and then it's done. Select, this one we don't need to hold down the shift because there's no shadow there. Select, modify, expand. And again, I'm just gonna, oops, I didn't wanna do that. I wanted to do paste special, paste into. That's where Command Z comes in handy. All right, and there, look at that. Scale it down a little. So easy, right? So I can't wait to see what you do with Stuffed Edge Photo Frames, which I'll link below, and other pre-made PNG frames. A lot of the older frame clusters in my store are PNGs, just like this. Newer models have, or newer releases, I should say, have the layered PSDs and the PNGs of individual layers to help you make it easier, make it more, I guess, more intuitive if you don't know all these other steps. But all these other items are just as good and they work just as easy. So I'm glad to be able to show you how to use these and I can't wait to see what you create. And remember, if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and the notification bell so you get notified the next time that I post a video. Have a great day and happy scrapping.